In this video, I will be soldering a new lithium polymer battery in this multimedia player, which has been sitting unused for six years. The battery is a 100 milliamp hour cell ordered straight from China over AliExpress. To get the player working again, I have to solder the two leads to the corresponding pads on the circuit board. As indicated on the board, the right pad is negative polarity and the left pad is positive polarity. Before we begin soldering, we have to flux the surface of the two contact pads. So I use Vaseline for my flux. I know it's not a proper flux, but it's the best that I've got at the moment. So. Take a little bit and spread it around on the contact points. It doesn't have to be too much, it just has to be enough so that once you apply the heat, it'll melt those two points down. Something like that. It doesn't have to be too crazy. Something like that. Once your surface is all fluxed and ready, you may begin soldering the battery. However, there is a couple of things to remember before you begin soldering this battery. The first thing is that time is against you, so you have to go quickly. These are really thin wires, so if you take your time and go slow, you're going to burn your hands and the shield on the outside of these wires is going to begin to melt. So you have to do it quickly. No more than about two seconds should do the trick. Okay, so we're now ready to go. I've got the black wire resting on the negative contact pad. And all I need to do right now is take my heat source and apply it on top of that wire. It's really small, so it takes a bit of precision. Okay, so that didn't work. I'll probably need some more solder to be on that pad before I can really do anything. So we'll try it a second time. I've added some solder to the tip of my iron. This will help with the heat transfer and also add a layer on top of that wire once it gets soldered in so it's nice and tight. We're not only strictly relying on what's on the pad but also adding a little more on top. Okay, so the black wire is now soldered in. What remains is the red wire. So we have to solder it on the neighboring pad. We'll use the same technique. Okay, so the battery is now all soldered in. Red to positive and black to negative. Let's test if the player is going to turn on. Power switch is on top. Turn it on, you hold this bottom button, and it turns on. So we have a connection. Player is working, it turns on. So, mission successful. Now is just time to put the player back together. <laughs>
finally we have a working multimedia player. All the functions are working. The battery has rejuvenated this device.